are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Hello everywhere. Prima che vedete questo video Voglio ringraziare tutti, ma proprio tutti, 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 eh, per i vostri messaggi così belli. Io non mi aspettavo un incoraggiamento così grande da parte vostra eh, e gli auguri che mi avete fatto. Questo è molto, molto bello e io sono veramente emozionato di, tutto, di tutti questi messaggi che avete mandato e degli auguri. Quindi vi volevo ringraziare tutti e buona visione di questo video. And I just wanted to add that um, this has been in our plans for a few years now. It's nothing to do with YouTube. Um, this was something that we were thinking about doing way before YouTube was even working for us. So the time has come and we sort of planned it to coincide, to coincide with Sky finishing school. So that's why it's happening now. Anyway, on with the video. Volevo aggiungere inoltre, <ride> inoltre, tutto il tempo lavorando qua ho capito che la cosa più preziosa al mondo che abbiamo per noi stessi, a parte gli amici, la famiglia, è il tempo. Noi non possiamo comprare il tempo, non possiamo avere più tempo, quindi niente, eh, ho pensato di andare via da qua per avere più tempo di fare quello che voglio fare, qualsiasi cosa sarà. E la vita. Okay, on with the video! <laughs> <laughs> It is very windy today. We wanted to come down and show you the closing of the season, the beach bar's closing. It looks like we're not going to be able to talk much though because I haven't got a microphone with me and it is crazy windy. to see some signs of autumn here we go all of the little boat companies have been dismantled and the do not disturb boat has been pulled up in its place winter is well and truly on its way
living in this house for eight and a half years now and since we first moved here and renovated we haven't really changed anything uh, this is a yoga swing behind me by the way just if you're wondering what that is i have bought it so i can start doing some exercise but i haven't quite got around to starting yet hopefully i will soon anyhow uh, I need to change up a few things. I'm sitting here and editing videos and I'm spending a lot of time here and this chair is not at all suitable for sitting at a desk. It's too low, it doesn't move and I need a proper chair. And I'm going to shuffle some furniture around in the whole house. We're going to move this thing out of here and I've bought a bookcase which should arrive in a couple of days which I'm going to put here. So I'm going to shuffle a few things around and um, just change it up a little bit because it's time. First of all, this chest of drawers, which we've already pulled all the drawers out of, this um, I bought when Skye was born. This was to keep her baby clothes in. And since then, it hasn't been used for the last eight and a half years. years and it now smells of mould. So it is to be thrown away. It's only from Ikea. It was very, very cheap. And it has served its purpose. And this is going. Possiamo smontare meglio adesso, c'è il trapper. <laughs> Abbiamo un ospite lì. <ride> What are you doing down there? Non sono sicuro che lo voglio smontare. Perché? Perché questo lo potrei usare nel mio capanno degli attrezzi. Se faccio un po' di spazio è comodo avere dei cassetti. Quindi magari non vale la pena di smontarlo. Sarebbe solo la mano magari di Nicola per calarlo giù. I think you're going to have to smontare it to get it down. <ride> sì, no, penso che ci basta là sotto, guarda. When we brought that up here, we put it up here before we put the ropes on, so it was much easier. And now, of course, we can't take off the ropes. We've got to figure out how to get it down. Oh, se io te lo spingo verso giù, tu la fai acchiappare? Non lo so. Puoi provare? dicendo che prima che qualcuno possa dire eh ma perché non ha dato una mano a Carlo sono io ho detto lo porto da solo faccio è più comodo è più complicato portarla a due nel mio caso ho trovato il posto dove metterlo lo metterò qua che questa la posso togliere di qui e lo metterò qua, tanto non ci piove qua sotto, va bene per adesso. Poi vediamo. Possiamo mettere non so la pittura, le cose, sai? Eh, per ora, per ora sì. sì. Per ora va bene. Per ora va bene. So this basically is let's say our spare room, I mean, nobody really ever sleeps here, very, very rarely. Bit of a waste, really, because it's a shame. It's it's quite a nice area. And um, I'm gonna try and use it a bit more, but I need to shuffle things around here. So the bed is on a futon base. So I've just pulled it up so it can be used, it's really comfortable actually, as a sofa instead of a bed, which makes a lot more sense. And I'm gonna cover it with this. It's probably the biggest blanket I've got. Yeah. You want to help me? Yeah. How much is it over the edge there? This Not bit? This um, bit? Oh, no, much. Nothing. And that is about as much as I can do for now. I'm washing some of the covers and the rest will have to be done when the other furniture arrives. We are jumping from one thing to the other today. We're just getting a lot of stuff done. And we have this beautiful papyrus plant that has grown so much in the last few months since we bought it this spring. Um, it's had loads of little babies and this is one that was just starting to die. So I cut it off. Now we're just playing with it. But we've divided the main plant into four different plants and we're gonna put them all in different places and just experiment on where it grows best. So we've already divided it. We've got two pots here 
this is the original pot that it was in and you can see how many different plants have grown off it and now we're gonna do this is half of it so it's huge okay yo ho pensato di dividerla ancora in due quindi una pianta diventa quattro piante wow ecco qua Adesso li andiamo a piantare, quei due li, li lasciamo nel vaso perché ci piacciono dentro e abbiamo pensato questi due di metterli fuori. Adesso andiamo a cercare un posto dove metterli. Che pezzo potrebbe andare bene? O qui? O anche... O anche qua? Okay, this is what it looks like from here, this is where... Ok, dimmi, dimmi dove ti sembra più carina. Per me c'è più senso là. Qua? Eh. Allora la metto qua. Easy. Because it's too high to be here. It will block the rose. Okay. I don't think Luca would be very impressed if we left that one there. But I do quite like it there. Wow. È duro questo terreno. <laughs> Look at the lemons on this tree. They are getting enormous. This one is the biggest so far, but strangely, this one is growing right out of the trunk. So it will probably fall off with the next high wind because it hasn't got any moving room. Lemons need to move around. And now we are on our way to Piano di Sorrento. Um, Kai might have a swim and we will watch the sunset and do a bit of shopping. And I've got some post. And I wanted to quickly talk about post. Now, um, often people ask me for an address where they can send stuff. One, um, I don't need anything and I don't expect anybody to send me anything um, to thank me for watching the videos. Just that you watch the videos is thanks enough and that's all we need two we have a very small house and we don't have much room for more things unfortunately and we're quite limited with space now the other reason which is quite important is because this happens so this has been sent to me i'm gonna hide the address here and as you can see underneath it says 57 euro that 57 euro is customs fees that i have to pay so um, unfortunately anything that comes from anywhere outside of Europe has a very heavy customs fee on it and it's, it gets quite expensive. So this is one of the main reasons why I say please don't send me anything. Now this particular package here is something, now there's a funny story behind this. This is a bag that I had in my basket from Etsy and I was going to buy it and then I got distracted and I completely forgot and it was just sitting there in my bag and very very strange coincidence the girl who makes the bags contacted me and asked me if she could send me one because she watches my videos while she's making the bags and I was absolutely thrilled and I offered to pay for it anyway because I already had it in my basket but she insisted on sending it to me and I knew I'd get a customs fee slapped on it, but uh, I'm more than happy to pay that because she's sending me the bag. So um, that's also one of the other reasons why I didn't order the bag, because I knew that would happen. But I'm happy to pay that as the price for having the bag. So I will open it and show you in a while, not here in the car though. I'll probably get car sick doing that. And another thing, this is how packages often arrive in Italy. Wide open, see what's inside and then send them on their way. So we have decided to come to the beach at Meta di Sorrenta. 
So you can see the sunset from here as well. Se voglio fare il bagno devo fare veloce, altrimenti va via il tra un attimo. Sì. Non è pittoresco come Positano, però anche, anche qui c'è il suo fascino. Quindi niente, mi butto in acqua, faccio il bagno e vedo, vedo come è l'acqua. Ok, Temperat I will wait here. Sì, lo so che non ti butterei in acqua. Uh, by the way, la temperatura dell'acqua dovrebbe essere sui 20 gradi. Io ho fatto un bagno in piscina 15 giorni fa, l'acqua era a 18, quindi dovrebbe andare bene. Allora, adesso magari mi giro, così forse è meglio. L'acqua non è troppo fredda, è giusto un po' fresca. È stupendo, molto calmo qua, molto rilassante. Faccio una notata. But I won't, I will save that for another time and go back and watch the sunset with Carlo before we go and do the shopping. Quando queste cose si dovranno buttare tre anni, le buttiamo via e siccome è legna facciamo un bel falò nel giardino. Sì. Non le porto su, non ce la farò mai. <ride> queste cose le dovrei girare perché così vanno su un lato mm. e mi tira qua. Perché quando porti qua poi ti fanno male i muscoli dall'altra parte. Mm. Se me lo metto dietro, scivola. Qui non lo so, adesso proverò a cambiare, vediamo. Ho fatto il mio lavoro, adesso mi godo la mia pausa. <ride> Thank you very much. You're welcome, Amore. <laughs> now, my job is to pretty much remove everything except for the books. And then we will see what we need to do.
Now we had a bit of a palaver because we had to make sure that the light switch and the cat flap were both usable still and it's pretty much worked out perfectly but we haven't been able to utilize the drawer this was supposed to be a drawer so we've had to leave that open and this is the finished room for now my new office chair arrived just ordered it on amazon it's nothing special but it's nice and it matches my curtains <laughs> So I've got my little office area there. It's a little desk that Carlo knocked up for me a couple of years ago. And my bookcase hasn't changed, but that has now, it looks much, much better, much tidier. That basket has got camera stuff in it. And then there's a little basket there, which is, as you can see, full of cables and stuff. Kitty's looking a little bit worried about what I'm doing. And Holly has found a new place to sleep under there. Not quite on the rug though, poor thing. And here is the bag that I was gifted. I absolutely love it. It's just so perfect for me. It fits my camera in, which is a huge important bonus. And it goes with everything. So it's tan leather on one side, pony skin on the other side and it is just made really really well it's got um, two inside pockets and then just a nice big space to put everything in and you can wear it like that and your hands free perfect so thank you so much to Nash and Duff on Etsy for this bag they've got loads of other bags as well like smaller sizes and different styles they've got like zebra skin and leopard print and I'm really happy with this anyhow um Lainey and Rosie went trick-or-treating the other night and they made a video for you. I've had quite a few people ask what happens at Halloween in Positano. Is it the same as America? Not quite. Is it the same as England? Not quite. We do our own thing here. Trick-or-treating is not really house to house. It's more shop to hotel to restaurant to shop. So Lainey and Rosie are going to take you trick-or-treating with them now. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time. Trick or treat! Grazie mille! Oggi a Halloween siamo andati da tutte le parti per prendere dolcetti e stiamo continuando a camminare. Halloween! <laughs>
noi prendiamo gli ultimi dolcetti e la mandiamo a mangiare una birra! Eh lo so Elvira, siamo un po' in ritardo. Ma no, vieni da quella parte, scusa. Ah, okay. Che devi passare davanti. Ho trovato dove metterlo. Lo metterò da sotto il soffitto, scendendo verso giù qua. Però è complicato vedere cosa c'è dentro. No, è, no, è stupido. Sì, è stupido. So that bag, here we go, this is it. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, I won't film you changing. <laughs> 